Alright, um, for today's vlog, I just want to kind of say is, I still sort of have a cold yet, um, it looks like Dan's working again today, so I know they're gonna have him inside and out, I won't have help and I'll get far behind, um, this is something where I don't want to always say, but it's like they really, like yesterday, should have had him go back outside as soon as he got back from his break. You know, like I said, they always need someone, two people out here. <coughs> so... Um, like, like, I kind of figure was, I guess, like, was Janine, she's leaving this week. She's leaving Menards for good, I think. But, yeah, I told her the truth. I'm trying to get out of Menards and looking for a full-time job. I need a job where I can get medical benefits. And what I kind of figure is probably when I leave... Menards, when I do find a different job, they'll probably have to have Dan out here 90% of the time. But I think, and I figure this, it'll be no longer than one month of me being gone that they'll try to replace me that quick. Because some high school boys, Monday through Friday, can only work nights. Oh, well, if they get down only Lil Aaron and Dan, and Lil Aaron's in college, so it means, well, and you know how they want Dan on the register and at service counter. I probably would be replaced within one month of being gone. But like I said, I got cashier numbers too, but they don't use me. I think little Aaron started getting cashier numbers and they ain't using him. So, like I hate to say is, looking at it this way, um... You know, I right now I can't tell any potential employer that there might be a funeral in the future for my grandma. We don't know when she will die. Because my Uncle Steven's power of attorney and he ain't really telling anyone. He ain't telling my parents what's going on with my grandma Peterson. So, Ernie claims that the state tells anyone that's a guardian or a power of attorney that they have to tell what's going on. i never seen that where they had to. Anyway, with my side of the family. But, um, like I said yesterday, um, I wish there was by some miracle where all of a sudden they said, while well, she's in hospice care, that, oh, she's going to live. Oh, the cancer went down now. But if that was really going to happen, she would not be all there. So then they literally would have to move her out of hospice care to a physical nursing home for the rest of her life. But, you know, because they're going to, I guess, give her morphine in that. But, like I said, with knowing that she is going to pass away, it's hard, but... 
what can you do? You know? Basically nothing at this point, but... Um... You know, it's just like I would say to anyone. You know, I would love it if she did kick through this all of a sudden. <coughs> but, you know, if that all of a sudden happened, I think she would be all over on the news. Trust me. And they would want the name of the doctor she was seeing. That's what would happen. Seriously. But. Um. Yeah, it's just been... Rough, you know. So. But I guess, like. Like, I don't want to go saying this, but. You know. I just wish DVR would understand this, but it's like, if I wanted to work at a gas station, I would have <coughs> set it up so I had two fucking jobs. Yeah. I mean, Sears ain't a good, isn't a bad company to work for, I mean. I mean, they treated me really good. So if I had to go to Sears' hometown, yeah, and, and, you know, here's another thing to say. The main reason, too, why I need medical insurance is I need to have my right shoulder checked. Okay, it's still really bad. I also need my right knee rechecked. I need my left foot checked on. I can no longer push carts. I can't really do carry outs because it's like, what do you tell your customers? That she can do it with only one arm because she got a bad shoulder to look at you funny? And I guarantee you this. They'll ask for someone else to do it. But, you know. It, it's just like, too, I am trying to start up a business, but it is really hard to. Trust me. It is. But. Even I look at things right now. <coughs> and. Yeah. So, it so would be good just to, you know, be able to get a full-time job and say, I could have all this checked, but I can't tell any potential employer that because it's like, was well, the way my right knee's getting worse, sir. And then I don't think they would want to take a chance at you if they found all this out, is the thing to say. Because what it could mean is you could all of a sudden need shoulder surgery. Or, yeah. Or you'd be put on light duty. If I have medical insurance right now and I had that shoulder checked up, they would not allow me to do carry out. So I, I guarantee you that they wouldn't allow me to push carts. 
I guess it is supposed to rain today, tomorrow, and Saturday the way they're sounding.